I wanted the grassroots people, the people who have really been in the heat of the moment. And there was nobody else better to come into my mind than our very special guest, who is going to be with us this morning, obviously. And he's been in the heat of the moment, risking his safety, his gadgets, his his team to ensure that the revolution is captured and not just in our memories, but also, and you know, it's not just lost in our hearts or something, but you know, we have evidence of it. Now, this person is, I, I, don't, I don't even know how to explain him. He's achieved a lot. He's been, um, I think he's gone Guinness Book, um, Guinness World Record. World Record. He's done a lot for himself and he's from Akwai Bomb with him really young age, I don't want to expose his age, just in case you are, are timing him, but please help me welcome Etim. Yeah, I, thank you so much. Good morning. morning. Yeah. Well done, well thank done. I mean, so I much. saw the, the picture, no okay. matter how gory it is, but it mm. was necessary to document that yesterday. How was it for you being at the protest and seeing that life being snuffed out and you had to take that shot? Okay, um, I'll start by saying my name is Etim Yene. Mm -hmm. Or you just call me Inyene. 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 Yeah. Um, it's it been an amazing experience mm -hmm. um, to be part of history. I see that as history. And I don't really call this a protest because I see it as more um, than a protest, but a movement. Um, documenting this has been, like I said, amazing. Um, risking everything. Uh, my mom, my sisters, uh, they, you know, they've been really against it, though. Though one part of them were like, oh, yeah, you're doing your job. But, you know, just be careful and everything. And pictures speaks. And this is history. History is like happening in front of us. Mm. And um, if we're talking about this thing in the next 50 years, in the next 100 years, I remember when my dad, you know, of blessed memories, used to tell us about the Biafra War and everything. I just tried to imagine, you know, how the war, you know, happened and all that. But... I have not seen proof. Mm. The other time I saw proof was when I went to Abia State, the Ojuku bunker or so. Mm. I saw some pictures and everything. I was like, oh, we really need to see this because the Nigerians now clamoring for war. My dad will always say, those guys clamoring for war now, I've not seen anything. Mm. So if they are seeing how the Brafa war went, like happened, I'm not sure we'll be clamoring for war right, right now. Mm. Mm. I, see, I see people saying that this could turn into a civil war. Do you see that happening? It, um, it's not going to turn it, you know, into a civil war because okay. for change to happen, there must be some um, push. I think, you know, we are not giving that push right now. And for change to happen also, there, you know, there need to be some, you know, a form of awareness. And I think Nigerians now are aware about our, our rights, mm -hmm. about our power. Like, it's, it's crazy now, literally, if I can use that word, because the Nigerian youth... And now, um, you know, with this Black Lives Matter issue and everything, like we are now more aware about what we can do mm. with or without the politicians, with or without the influencers, in quote, which mm. I, I, I will also address, you know, in, in this conversation. Because funny enough, I've been part of the, this protest right from the beginning since last week. And um, we, um, myself and some group of young Youth in Nigeria, mm -hmm. we were not up to 15 yesterday that blocked Lake Toll Gate. Mm. We, we were at the Lake Toll Gate before 5 a.m. Mm. We strategized on how we'll block that toll gate. And like I said, we're not up to 15 that finally blocked no movement. Mm. And that's to show that it's not about the numbers. Mm. We don't need the numbers. We don't need the influencers. In and believe me, I will say some things here. And it's, it's, it's crazy. We need their influence, in quote. But they always come when they've seen the update on social media that everything has been balanced and everything. Mm. And they will come to do live as if they converge everybody. No. Mm. Mm. There was something you said, the way you said we don't need the politicians. And I, I think um, I don't agree with that part. Um, because what we are doing now is to actually get the politicians to do the job or whatever they are elected for, right? Mm. And we want to get to the point where we know that if you are elected into that office as a politician, you are able to do your job. So we, I think we need them to start doing their job, to start putting in proper reforms, to start making better decisions and getting the job done. Which yeah. is why if a Sonwolu has not tweeted for five days and is suddenly walking behind the scenes, <laughs> you know why I'll be laughing to that I one, you know? I understand what we'll you mean. have to say, you yeah. know what, sir? 
we needed to stand up and do something. That is why also when the killings was going on in Oyo State, Ubumosho, mm -hmm. we had to be tagging the governor of um, Oyo State to say, sir, you need to do something. So we actually need them to start doing their job. Mm. We, we need them, yeah. But the first thing, they need us first. Mm. Without us, they are not supposed to, they won't be there. Mm -hmm. So you mean. Yeah. they need us and they need us so bad. Mm. So that, that's what I'm saying, that until we get to realize the, the power, power we have. But okay, I want us to move away from this conversation yeah. for a little bit and focus on the protesters. Okay. Um, there, there, there's speculations, especially from authority, where they are attempting, a really weak attempt though, to give a narrative that they're being um, violent and that mm. these protesters are, are being violent, which is why um, the, the the police force or the police body are, mm. are attacking the, the viewers. Now, you've been there from day one. We've seen videos of you even in the scene, in the heat of the moment. Do you really think that all the protesters, or there are some protesters there that are actually hoodlumped mm -hmm. in, 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 mm -hmm. in their words mm -hmm. and they're actually attacking other people? Have you seen that? Um, yes, I've seen. Um, yesterday, we were supposed to sleep um, over, like right in front of the toll gate because it's like like a war in quotes we've, mm. we've already taken that territory mm. so if we mistakenly leave it's be kind of difficult back. for us to go back mm -hmm. so that was our plan initially but you know the vibes the ginger was not dead like i said we don't even need the numbers we mm. can be five down we'll sleep there mm. but we've got to realize sure that you don't need the numbers believe me you don't we just need that consistency mm. we don't really need, need that numbers we just need to be consistent. If one person sleep, like, in that toll gate... I don't think you can, back to back to think back you can to compare back. the impact one person or 15 persons will have when exactly. the crowd of people were no. I mean, he's saying... Exactly. It, yeah. So, yeah, so I think you need to be careful we with the, that yeah. as well. We the numbers. I mean, I, I, I think numbers. your intention, which is what I'm trying to get, and I think yeah. I've, I've seen the same thing too, mm -hmm. because I was part of the protest on... Uh, Saturday at Lekki Link, Link Bridge, Bridge. Yeah, yes, I and I did see that the influencers came when things were already done. Exactly. The celebrities came and they made the loudest noise, and obviously they'll Thank bring you, more crowds you know, because <laughs> and the crowd is even for stars. The crowd is for like, like almost like a circus, like you're performing, I'm like just, you're entertaining. The I'm people just who did to, what they not did to were not that names. many. Mm. Yeah. I think and, I know the names of okay. And you there was mind. one of these celebrities. Mm -hmm. We walked from the Lakey, the filling station from mm -hmm. the Lakey toll gate mm -hmm. down to the deputy governor's house. Mm -hmm. There was one celebrity that drove with his guys, mm -hmm. drove down mm -hmm. to meet us there. Okay, and we so met, you know, he was just bringing the vibes I'm, and everything. Like, mm -hmm. Yesterday also, something happened when the governor came around. Mm -hmm. There was this other celebrity. His manager was just pushing him. We said, go, go, go. You know, mm -hmm. so that they would see you as. I stopped his manager. Mm. I see. You can't just do this. Mm. He's not speaking for us. Yeah. Let the people speak. I know there are people who do not really understand the gravity in terms of celebrities now and are trying to, what we call, I was having a conversation with a colleague in the industry yesterday and she called it performing activism. Yep. Like, <laughs> you just want to do things to show. So there are people you are calling because you know mm -hmm. them as celebrities. Even the ones that you think they are not that big celebrities that are being praised online now, some of them deliberately put out that content and got people to put it out to say, I am this and I'm doing exactly. this. I mean, I, I feel like every kind of performance, whether it's good beneficial. or bad is beneficial. <laughs> because right now, um, this is getting a level of recognition in the international space. Mm. Yeah. Whether you like it or not, the impact of the celebrities as well in mm. this um, protest has also been massive. However, yeah. when you meet people like that that you're mentioning, and you're able to stop them to say you cannot do this, exactly. that's the right thing to do to let mm. them understand that, you know what, we are not pushovers. We are not mm. going to mm -hmm. allow you hijack this yeah. for your own yeah. selfish agenda. Mm. But I would maintain to say that we need everybody, whether you are performing or you are genuine, come and we perform, come and be genuine, we need bus count. But my question now is, because I know she will say we'll have to go to the next segment, <laughs> so what do you want to see? What are you going yeah, to hear that would say, well. you know what, we are done. Yeah. At least for now, maybe we're giving you another three months or six mm. months before we carry on again. Mm. But what do you want from the government and at what level mm. for you to say, I'm done, or we okay. are done, we are holding off for now? Mm. Okay, I, 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 I believe that's a very good question. I believe um, the Nigerian government, they've lost the trust with, the, with Nigerians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why even after the announcement of the, you know, SARS has been disbanded. Dissolved. You, yeah, dissolved, sorry. Mm -hmm. You know, they still went, they used to went, you know, I had to still protest mm -hmm. and everything. So that trust is not there anymore. Mm -hmm. 
Imagine this had been going on since last week. Mm -hmm. We have a president, and he kept silent. The president of other states was confirmed positive coronavirus, and the president tweeted, mm. wishing him well. And your own people here have mm. been clamoring for something for days, for weeks. And you still, not you know even a tweet. yesterday, yeah? No, no, no. I'm just trying to say, when your heart is, you know, in something, mm. it will show in your action. Yeah. No matter how little it is. So, um, I think the government now, they need to be intentional with the little things that they are doing right now. Okay. The little things to even with the security agencies. This is a peaceful pro protest. I have images like where I saw, you know, the policemen that came around yesterday was, you know, they just came to, you know, see how everybody, but yeah. they came with guns, tear gas. Mm -hmm. These are like, it's intimidating. Yeah. We so came, in being like, intentional, mm -hmm. what would you want to see? We want to see action, not just mere, mere talks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like we want to see action. Proper action. Proper action. Not just, because we've been talking like for the past five years, we've been talking. Yeah. We don't need that anymore. We are now wiser. Like our eyes don't literally tear as youth. So we will keep on protesting. Yeah, And definitely. you keep on taking the pictures sure. and capturing everything. Sure. Please, your safety is paramount. Each person's safety <laughs> is paramount. I don't want any more yeah. stories. I saw a tweet that we've already lost, I think, 20 people um, nationwide mm. in regards to this protest. So it is a serious case. And yeah. I think sometimes, because there's a lot of performative people, not everyone has kind of made it sink in how serious this protest is. Mm -hmm. But I appreciate you, especially you the people much. that their names are like, because we don't have the following, and you're not a grand influencer or, or celebrity, mm -hmm. but it's important what you're doing. Yeah. And it's, it's really important. And we're, we're thankful that you grace, your, grace us with your presence today. Thank and we'll let you go back to your, your protesting. You. <laughs> <laughs>